Hi, welcome back to the award-winning Ed Brown Show. Once again, we had outstanding guests. The track teams in Prince George's County were outstanding in Wichita, Kansas. I mean, they just got back, and what was it, Monday or Tuesday? And we have with us the president of the Glen Arden this, uh, Club is uh, Larry Colbert, and then we have two of the coaches. You know, you can't do anything unless you have coaches, and I mean, female and male coaches. And we have two of them here, and it's Eleanor Battle and Phil Barrett. And they're gonna give you some information that's not even in the newspaper yet. You know, Ed Brown brought it right to you. And here it is. Welcome, Larry. How you doing, Mr. And Brown? congratulations once again. Thanks again. Thanks the, again, Mr. Brown, to be on your show. And uh, what I'd like to say today about the two outstanding coaches that we brought on with me, as to ones has built, I would say, the foundation of the sub bound boys. Mm -hmm. Not only boys, but the girls also. Mm -hmm. And we'll get into that more later. Right, great. Eleanor, tell us about that. A lot of uh, people think, you know, you know, talk about coaches male. Uh, somebody say you got uh, uh, a special name there. What was that, Larry? <laughs> <laughs> okay, the name that for Miss Bowden, and they all know what I'm talking about. And we don't, around the track, we don't call her Eleanor. Uh -huh. She is Miss Battle. Miss Battle. Uh, Miss Battle she... got another title called Sergeant Slaughter. So, oh, wow. <laughs> I bet you all, all the players so know. So we all buck to that <laughs> right. when she says something, you know. <laughs> I tell you, but it, it's just wonderful. Uh, I, I want to make sure, I told Larry, we're going to have one of the lady coaches on today, you know. Because every time I get a track coach, he's male. I said, well, you got to let them know, man. Them ladies are tough out there, man. The volunteers right and everything. That's okay, true. give us a uh, quick uh, background of uh, the uh, uh, track that meet at the head out there at Wichita. You can go. Who's uh, going first? I guess <laughs> I am. <first. laughs> Eleanor is first. All right. Yeah. We uh, I went to Wichita last Tuesday. We returned on Monday. We came back with 56 medals. Wow. 56. Congratulations. We, we had everybody win from the sub-bantams on up. This was actually the first year that they let the sub bantams, which are eight and under, mm. run in the national meet, which I think is a great thing. And our boys actually turned out to be the national champions. They won first place in the four by one. No. They set a record that we think is going to stand for quite a while. But Phil can tell you more about all of uh -huh. that. Good. Hey, uh, uh, what kind of red hat is that? What that mean? This is everybody who got on the stands mm -hmm. for first place through eighth place got this hat in addition to their medals, showing that they are all American champions from the Junior Olympics. Uh, so uh, Larry didn't get one. That's why he has a, uh, a blue hat. <laughs> I, have to, I have to represent. <laughs> he represent. represent. Yeah. Larry, Larry represent. And Larry, Larry. Tell, tell us about some of the other track clubs from uh, well, uh, Prince George County. Well, they were they out there? Well, it was very well. We were from the Tomat Valley Association, mm -hmm. and that's clubs in, you know, in the state of Maryland and mm -hmm. plus Metropolitan and D.C. Mm -hmm. And along with that, the clubs that were there, there were the, uh, the Barberich. There also was the, uh, the uh, Hummingbird. The Hummingbird. Hummingbird. Hummingbird was there. There were the... Uh, What's the other club? Boy Traxxas was there. Right. 747. 747s mm -hmm. were there. Mm -hmm. So we had a nice representation from this metropolitan area. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. And did very well. Okay, Phil, tell us about the meet itself. Yeah, they only had, uh, had probably over close to 8,000 athletes were there from, 8, from every state, including Hawaii. We were in the from stands. Every and state. I spoke with a lady who had brought her son over from Hawaii. Only one individual, but mm -hmm. they were there. And like I said, it was 8,000 athletes. They competed over a six-day period. And uh, we were blessed to come away with the national champion, as Eleanor had talked about, our eight and under boys. They were association champions, mm -hmm. region champions, and then they went all the way to the nationals and set a new national record at 5830 no for the four by one boys. Congratulations. And, uh, thank you very much. And everything, everything just came together at that particular point in time. 
Uh, the temperature was over 100 degrees every day we wow. were out there. So uh, we, had, <laughs> we had it here, too. <laughs> well, I don't know if you had it 110, <laughs> and the track 110. was about 104. I, I heard it was 112 out there. The track, you know. mm -hmm. Yeah, so it was just a high caliber competition, and the kids from our club and the other clubs that were represented there stepped up and competed and showed everybody around the country that we have some very high caliber athletes here on the on the east coast mm -hmm. and like i said we were just really blessed to be able to go out and compete at that level and come back home with two national championships the bantam congratulations the, the bantam what was the national championship excuse me what was the national championship? oh the national championship were with the sub bantam boys in the four by one relay and mm -hmm. the bantam girls also won a national championship in the four by four of the mile relay mm -hmm. uh, our intermediate boys placed second in the nation in the mile championship Ran the fastest time ever that we've had as a club. They went like 311 and some change in the, oh, in the wow. uh, Wonderful. mile championship, in the 4x4 four four championship. So it was, it was just, uh, just a great experience. Mm -hmm. And for me, it was really special because I got to go back home. I'm originally oh, yeah. from Wichita, oh, Kansas. Oh, you're from so, Wichita, Kansas. So I got huh? to go back home, grew up about 10 minutes away from where uh, no we competed kidding. at. And to go home and have our little boys to win a national championship and have some of my relatives to come and be able to share it with, it was congratulations, really Congratulations, congratulations. You, you've earned it, you know. Yeah, definitely, yeah. And, and we, what we want to do is emphasize, and I know the coaches and Larry want to continue to emphasize this, the appreciation of the volunteers. This, this, this club could not function without the volunteers. I mean, the parents, and a lot of them are not just parents, they're individuals that are interested in helping the Boys and Girls Club. Uh, uh, and the way that you can help them is uh, continue working and also uh, get involved with the fundraising. You know, everything takes money. And I mean, <laughs> this is what we want to do. We want to support this fantastic showing that the track teams in this area made in Wichita, Kansas, just last week. That was in July, wasn't it? What yeah, was it the was. meet? July? Last week last in July. July. Uh, July last week in Ju July. Right? And remember, you first heard it on Ed Brown's show. No other media has it yet. <laughs> See, they just got back here Tuesday, you know what I mean? <laughs> but hey, you keep watching Ed Brown's show and you get the best. And that's what we have here. And the appreciation of Prince George County and the state is it's just fantastic representation here. These people have coached these young. And you know, it's, it's tough coaching your own child, you know, and then you get somebody else's because your own child, you can give him a backhand. But a coach, <laughs> a coach, you know, he has to work around those things. And, and once again, I want to make sure you understand that we need volunteers and we need fundraisers too. And they have shown this is not the first time. Everywhere they go, everybody know that this area have the best track teams in the country. And they proved it with that. What was that national? Uh, national championships in the sub Bantam boys and the, and the uh, 910 Bantam girls. 910 Bantam girls. And, and the and young men were second in the nation. So second, second in the, second in the nation. Well, hey, you heard it. <laughs> you heard it from Coach Barrett there. And then uh, just like what we have to do is find out what the track club needs. Uh, and you see the uh, president over here, Glenn Arden, uh, Larry, he's not only involved with it, he participates too. He's, you, you've seen him on the show here with all the medals and everything, but he is a shining example for the youngsters, you know, and the coaches, they give their time. So only thing that we wanna make sure is that you, you participate. Uh, when they have a fundraiser, go deep into your park because the kids are the future. Okay, we've had our chance. Give them one. See you next time.